All right, this is CleanFeed. You can see it at cleanfeed.net, and you'll have to set up an account to begin with. You click this Get Started thing, and it's a free account to begin with. Uh, I have an account, so I'm just going to log on. When you finally are able to log on, you'll get a, a setup like this, and you click the Start button, and here it goes. This is what the dashboard looks like when you get here to begin with. Now, when you first set up, it's likely going to ask you to choose your microphone. If you don't see that or you haven't done so, you can always click on this gear icon right here. Click here and choose your microphone. So I'm choosing desktop microphone, my Rode Podcaster. All right, that's the one I'm speaking on right now. Okay, so that is number one. And then when it comes time to connect with someone for the recording to invite a guest, you're going to click connect. You're going to put their name and you're going to put their email address and then you're going to invite. Now, what if you have more than one person you want to invite? Because CleanFeed can do multiple people. Well, you'll tick the advanced tab here. Share the link yourself is what you want to do. And then uh, put their name. You have to put their name in anyway. So I'll put Joe Blow in here. And then when you click invite, it's going to give you a link. So you copy the link and you share that with as many people as you want. Now you could invite just one person if you wanted to. I'm doing it this way as well. Okay, once you're done there, you're going to close this out. Now you're just about ready to record. When someone shows up to be recorded with you, you will see them appear right here in a, in a box just like this one. You'll see a phone icon here for them. And you will you should see their uh, little levels bumping like mine are right now as I'm speaking. Now, what you need to do before you hit record is listen for a bit to see what their audio quality sounds like. Sometimes they will have a good microphone but did not select it yet. So you'll need to walk them through clicking the icon over here, choosing the proper microphone, all of that kind of stuff to make sure you get the best audio you can. And then when you're ready to record, you're going to come over here and hit the record button. Okay, you can do this just for yourself. If you don't have a good recording setup on your computer and you just want to use clean feed to record yourself, by all means, come here and record yourself. You're going to get great audio sound. So you want to click record. You want to name the recording. So carry demo recording is what I'm calling this. And if I could type, it would be great. And then you can have it add the day and time to the file. Some people like that. And then here is where you want to choose what kind of audio tracks you want it to provide to you. Okay. You could say your audio only, the other party's audio only, everyone. And when it says everyone, it means everyone in the same audio track or stereo split, which means your guest will be in one track and you will be in another. If you're recording with a guest, this is what you always want to choose because it makes your editing so much more effective. All right. So choose stereo split and hit record. And so you see now another track has appeared with this red box here. And that is the demo recording. That's the actual recording track. And when another guest starts speaking, you would see their little uh, sound wave thing jumping right there next to yours. Now it's got this red box going here. If you click on it, it will pause for a moment. You see it says paused right there. And then when you're done, you can hit it again and it'll start recording again. Okay, so say you've done your whole recording and you're finished. What are you going to do? Well, you're going to pause it. And then you're going to come over here and you see this download button. You click on it. And it will give you the opportunity to save that wherever you want to save it. Okay. Now, a few things to be aware of. If your recording is 20 minutes, 30 minutes or longer, while you're recording, you may see a window pop up that says save recording. And it's going to look just like that one that I just gave you. Now, what that is, is Clean Feed allows you, actually prompts you to download the recording so far at various points within the recording, they've got it preset. So don't let that freak you out. Just 
change the name while you're doing your recording and save it and come back to your recording. When you're all done, you can save again and you can either replace that file that you've already saved because it's not a complete file yet, or you can rename your new file to say complete or something like that. Okay, I hope that's helpful. CleanFeed is a great platform. Let me know if you have any questions.